In this video, we're checking out the CCTV, also known as the surveillance cameras, in the game. As usual, I need to emphasize that this is a video game and not real cybersecurity. Before we start, I would like to mention that I've set up a Discord server, since that's been a popular request. The link is in the description. Alright, what are these surveillance cameras and where can we find them? Cameras are actually quite common in the networks in the game. And uh, what I've done is I've found this random academic changes mission and we're going to use this IP to um, explore the network and see if we can find some cameras on the lawn. So let's first scan the IP and see what we can find. Before we scan, I guess we need to update the Okay, let's see here. So we updated the meta exploit. That's good. I'm not going to show how to um, gain access to the different servers or cameras in this video. I'm just going to show you how the cameras work. Uh, if you're interested in how you gain access to the different devices on a network, you can watch some of my previous videos where I go into quite a lot of detail and show. Um, different tools you can use uh, one of those tools is also um, I have also made available and made a scripting guide for uh, it's called shell web we won't be using shell web though because uh, that's a much um, mm, slower script okay so we can't find any cameras on this network at least not when we scan it from the outside but more most likely there's going to be something inside because the uh, networks are usually quite vast uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, this um, computer looks like a good target uh, to gain access to uh, because that's also the, the um, target for the mission uh, but the main reason is because there are three open ports and most likely there's going to be something we can use and because of that, so let's, hmm, let's let's think here. What I want to do is I want to target the SQL port, for example. Or let's do something like that, and hopefully we're going to get some something good. While we wait for that, okay, that's very good. We got a root shell, so now we have full access. Let's see if there's anyone online. Okay, so there is a user, an NPC online, so we be, need to be careful. But we have the admin monitor, so we should be good. Um, and now, what we should do is we're just gonna upload our tool, and that will enable us to scan the um, network from inside uh, or we're going to do the same scan we just did but this time we're going to do it from inside the network and this is going to uh, show us the entire network and we actually found a camera right away here so that's great. You can see that it's a camera because the library is called cam. Um, I think um, if you were to upload nmap onto this uh, network and then nmap this computer right here, you would also uh, see that the library is called cam. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to gain access to this device, which is device 11. So let's see if we can access that. And let's take these two. And that's great. There's a root computer on here. So let's use that. And what we are looking for is 
the password file. We're just going to hash that. And as you can see, there's a user called CCTV and the password for that user. Maybe we should go into some detail here. So, so uh, any device in the game um, has a similar um, folder structure. So if we're just going to like in the main folder and just so let's see here, we can see all the various folders and there's an etc folder which contains the password files. So let's go into there. And then in here we have a password file and if you cat the password file you will be able to see that there is the root um, user and then a cctv user which has the password we need in order to access a camera or surveillance camera uh, on this network and we just did that we um, uh, deciphered the uh, password for that um, uh, for the user CCTV and then I think we'll just leave this um, terminal for now we'll just use this one instead so what we want to do now is we want to target the um, very nice uh, computer that had a root shell because that's perfect usually you're not that lucky okay okay I think what's happening is that it's trying to gain access to another computer yeah it's uh, that's not what we want so that was the wrong input let's see here 3306 and then we're going to do something like this instead I think it was the SQL port in double no wait we didn't see that we don't know that okay let's do whoops that's not a number Zero, one, and two. And there we go. And then we have the root shell. And the user is still online, I bet. Yep. Um, what we're going to do is that we're going to start a shell. You need a shell uh, on one of the computers on the network. It doesn't matter which one, but you will need that. And this guy doesn't seem to be very aggressive, so that's nice. And then what you do is you open a browser. If you don't have root access, you might need to escalate on the uh, server, uh, depending on the uh, permissions on the server. But once you have uh, enough access, you can open the browser. And inside the browser, we are going to type the lawn IP. Let's see here, where's the scan result? Um, so here's the camera again, and the camera has this lawn IP. So this is the lawn IP we want to put into the browser. And now you can see that it says camera1, and then it wants us to put in a password. And the password is the password we found on the... Um, on the uh, camera um, device. So we have the password right here. Just copy that and paste it and press OK. And now what you can see is that we can view some kind of office uh, room. We can move the camera around. And the use of these cameras, at least for now, is that you can find secret information or uh, usernames and passwords and emails and bank accounts and stuff like that um, on uh, post-its maybe even other documents but I think it's mainly post-its um, that are placed out in different places on the um, in the room you can see there are post-its some of them are not going to 
have anything on them so you can see here doesn't appear to be anything you can zoom as well as you can see and then over here we have this board and some of these um, post-its are popping out you can kind of tell which of them have real information so here for example we have a bank account at the moment the um, bank accounts have um, um, both letters and numbers because uh, there was a, an issue with uh, uh, bank account numbers uh, number collision there were bank accounts that had the same numbers which caused is issues so now there's a combination of letters or and numbers for now at least uh, let's see here there was another post-it over here let's try to zoom again this is an email account and the password as well we can test these um, you can see if this information is valid if it works let's start with the bank account so unfortunately you can't copy paste here you have to carefully write it down hopefully that's correct and it worked we have access to the bank account we can take that money if we want maybe before i forget maybe we should see if maybe the log file need to be clean yes very much so all the exploits we used that's fine okay um so that's one of them Let's see what else we can find in here you will be able to find all kinds of stuff you can find okay so opening the other browser seems to have jammed it an interesting bug what happens if we close it again still bugged we have to restart okay We have an email over here. What else is there? Another email address. Zoom out a bit. You can see they're like placed um, all around the room. This actually looks like a, yeah, there's an address at the bottom. So this is a user and password for uh, one of the computers on the network. Let's go back. Not there. So this computer right here has a user uh, with this password. So if you wanted to get in here now there is no ssh and no well maybe there could be no there's no service running so we can't get shell either so we won't really be able to use this username to any great effect i fear um another email address you can't really see it fully probably a a and R A. Is that similar to the one over here? No, it's not the same. Let's see here, what else? Another email address. And this one is kind of hard to read. So maybe not what you want to use. So this is another way you can gain uh, information from inside a network. Maybe you um, 
have managed to gain access to the network, but you can't gain access to the computer you want. And then there might be some information scattered in one of these camera rooms that you can use in order to gain access after all. Could we try... We can check if the uh, information is correct on the on the uh, 9.4 address. That could be a nice ending. And then we can end with completing the mission, mission maybe. Um, but the main thing was showing off the camera and how to get to the cameras. I, in my experience, it's quite common for you to need to go deeper inside the network. Sometimes you can uh, find the cameras uh, from outside the network, but usually you need to go uh, deeper inside the networks to uh, both connect to them and use them. Um, okay, so let's see if we can try and use that. There are no guarantees that we will be able to get in, of course, because we would need to use... Um, the router to get in. Okay, we got roots. That's kind of <laughs> that will do it. Two of them. Wow. So now we'll just add the password. And see if it matches. I think it does. That was it, Ario, right? Yep. So, as you can see, the information is indeed useful and correct. And we can also see. Well, let's do this. Uh, the there is a user called that. I don't know if any of the mm. let's just see. Okay, use it. Okay. Wow. This is how you use it. There we go. I don't know if that guy so in how uh, we can only see the end of the email, right? Oh wait, we have one here. So on our uh, yeah, that's on another computer. But this user right here, this is perfect. We can also check that information. So it was the mail account. But just see if that one is correct as well. Supposed to be something e lovers. Yep. So another account found or well confirmed. I think that's pretty much it for the camera. 
let's end the video by completing the mission because we've been accessing the um this computer all this all this time um well we don't even need that we just use viewed and viewer let's see here the user doesn't mind so that's good okay it's this dude right here we want this subject to be at least approved and approve is five or more so let's give him 5.5 save let's see here Um, let's look at the log viewer again. And yes, that's it. Now we should probably since we don't even care about the traces in this one we can just reply with done i think like so perfect and the customer is satisfied with the job so we've successfully completed the mission and we showed up the cameras uh, so i think that's it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you all in the next one